We're going to make this contribution together because so much of our intellectual and personal life is bound up with the ideas that Seymour gave us. What we're going to do is tell two stories because one of Seymour's memorable characteristics is storytelling, but telling stories that were like generic examples in mathematics that really resonated and really generalised. They were profound and fundamental. So we're going to tell two stories that are personal, but we also think are very fundamental. So my story is about a conference in 1986, the Psychology and Mathematics Education Conference. And Seymour explained the difference between Euclidean point and line geometry and the turtle's idea of position and heading. And he showed something very simple and very beautiful. He showed how one of the classic circle theorems uh, could be expressed completely differently using the turtle geometry completely differently in terms of the theorems that could be proved, in terms of the connections between existing pieces of knowledge. And in the paper he wrote of the conference, he says this, Two Euclidean theorems I have known all my life turn out to have a close relationship. And really the pleasure that he derived from discovering that was absolutely evident from the talk that he gave. And I just found this tiny little example just obvious how it would generalise and what the big idea was. So after the conference I asked everybody I could find what they thought was the most interesting thing that Seymour had said. And with the exception of Celia, I didn't find anybody who understood it. Years later when Seymour opened the Knowledge Lab and his talk was called The K-Word is Back, he reminisced about just how difficult it is to get people to understand how researchers, teachers, uh, people responsible for learning, just how difficult it is to understand that the issue isn't only to make learning of stuff easier but to completely change what the stuff is. So that's the memory I'd like to uh, take away and Celia, over to you. In fact, actually, what, what Richard and I have been trying to do uh, as best we can is trying to think what that stuff might be to try and make mathematics which is the subject we love and have engaged with for so many years more acceptable and more engaging and in a way my story is about that it's about trying to really understand what motivates uh, people but not in a chocolate covered broccoli way but really motivates them in terms of gauging with mathematics and the most amazing thing that Seymour did and I have many stories is the way that he listened to people he would listen to students he would then retell their stories he would listen to colleagues and really learn from them and I think this is something that has uh, he stands out in, in terms of actually as learning from others and the main joy from working with Logo was the engagement with formal systems, was the work that he did with lots of people to say, you don't have to engage in a very top-down hierarchical manner. You can actually engage through bricolage, through sharing and, and learning from feedback. And I think that is something that uh, we should all do all the time. And programming is a unique way of doing this. If only we could make students share something together in ways that it won't be so private and won't be so risk risky, um, we could make everybody engage with mathematics more uh, readily. And of course, his example that he gave over and over again, uh, which has talked about circle theorems, were the Roman numerals thing, that idea is still very prevalent, is we don't want to spend all our time, all our time, seeking out all the, and identifying all the ways that students can't do things, but really work hard and say what can they do that is rigorous and mathematical, and that's what we've been trying to do, particularly in collaborative settings. So thanks for the chance to contribute to your conference. And we look forward to hearing from the rest of you when the time comes. Thanks. Thanks.